This is Lawrence Sherman from the Global Fertility Academy. Recently, in Lisbon, Portugal, during the 31st annual ESHRAE meeting, I sat down with some of the world's top thought leaders and discussed the challenges and opportunities faced in fertility today. Join me for this very exciting interview. So, <laughs> Professor Tanaka, it's very nice to see you here at ESHRAE. Thank you. Thank you. So, as you come to a meeting like this, what do you think are the three biggest challenges facing the embryologists and, and ART in Japan right now? Yes, uh, for me, when I was asked to list the uh, big three challenges, uh, uh, first, how to correct the optimal ovarian stimulation protocol to produce a high quality egg. So, clinical outcome is determined by the number of uh, high quality eggs. So, if you, we could get more matured, many eggs, so success rate will be increased. So, this is the first. Second is uh, whether to use a single media or sequential media. So, until now, so medium is a sequential, but now single medium is now spreading. So which one is uh, beneficial for the eggs, oocytes, or embryos uh, development? I think it's a controversial. And lastly, the, uh, it's vague, my interesting is how to rescue the aged oocytes. So as you know, in Japan, the average years of a patient for seeking for the ART is almost 40, mm. 40 years old. So we have to face the aged ulcer. So very difficult to get them pregnant using these aged ulcer. So now we are looking for a new technique to improve this uh, Success rate using the agent also. So, so, what do you hope to see coming out of research now that can help address those challenges? So, IVA, it's a in vitro activation of uh, oocyte. This is a very hot uh, knowledge and technique. So, you think that's going to be the big thing that will help? You? Yes, in maybe in several years. I think this ticket will be uh, average. Moving on a little bit to training, mm -hmm. what do you think is really needed to help improve the training and ultimately the quality of embryologists and the labs in Japan and, and worldwide for that matter? Yes, uh, such questions I were uh, asked from many embryologists. So I think the performing and uh, hands-on demonstration and uh, DVD training for another procedures. So let them see using a uh, hands skill. So demonstration and DVD is very, I think it's uh, useful for them. So training. In individualized training yes. at their own pace. Yes, right. uh, when, when they do that, how do you see the best way, at least in Japan, to measure how far they've gone and whether they've completed it appropriately? I think it's very difficult to visualize. And uh, so we have a big domestic kind of conference. So all of them uh, participate in these uh, meetings. So they, we have uh, video sessions and hands-on demonstrations. They are made booth. So they can participate in the, like this uh, training, but very difficult to say. Judging from the only presentation, right. we cannot see how much can they do. Do you find that there are challenges in referral of patients to fertility specialists in Japan? No, individual uh, clinic have their own network. To, for liberal to the 
So there's really Pretty, good yeah. connectivity yes. between them. Yes, they establish their own system. So no general network. So we're at Eshray now. Um, what have you heard about any new and exciting research that's coming out here? PGS. So, so you think there's, uh, there's some good, exciting data on PGS? Yes. So your PGS is uh, using uh, array CGH or uh, next generation uh, sequence. It's very exciting. Exciting. And, and that will, in your opinion, lead to a much better outcome and take home baby. Is there anything else you'd like to say to your colleagues that we haven't discussed here that's a, an exciting topic that you think you'd like to talk about? Now, it's a very, there's a big, nobody knows, but IVA, as I told you previously, yes. This technique will be a very breakthrough for the aged patient. And when do you think the, uh, the practitioners around the world will have this technique available? So it takes uh, uh, two or three years. We don't know that, but uh, I would like to now do myself and collect a critical outcome and the weather evaluate it's uh, uh, effective or not. But anyway, I, my colleague uh, had uh, newborn babies using this technique. For the patient who had uh, declared no chance to be pregnant, but she got a baby with, uh, during, with her arms. So this technique, IVA, is very promising. Excellent, so maybe we'll see some research yes. from your... Yes, I, I'm doing it. Excellent. Well, it's always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you.